Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode of Rising World on the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. Getting ready to do some building. Yeah, a little bit of building. Now, one of the things I forgot about this is that when you go to build... Uh, let's let's hold on. Before we get started here, let's go ahead and drop a couple things off real quick here. Um, let's drop that off into there. And we've got a couple extra plates in here, too. Uh, there's a grid to this world, and I don't believe you can change the grid. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe I can change the grid. So this is the grid we're, we're with right now. I can't take this block... And if you could see that, I can't take this block and change its rotation and which way it's going to point. So if you look um, where we are here, it's going to kind of point us over in that direction in general. Okay. So we're going to actually have to start our bridge because we've got a drop off right here. Granted, we could fix this up and make this anything we want it to be. Uh, our bridge is going to kind of not go out over the water, though. It's going to be more or less uh, landmass to landmass. And you're correct. Yeah, well, this is not really an island. It, it does connect right through here all the way through. So it's not an, exactly an island, but it is a, it's a little peninsula is, is what the comment was. And that's exactly what it is. It is a peninsula. Mm -hmm. It's my peninsula. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. Let's see. We're going to need the sickle, too. Uh, the drill. Oh, my God, you guys. Get a drill. Get a drill. You got to have a drill. The drill is an amazing thing. I'm going to try to do a little more walking to see if I can cut down to some of the blur in the game. I don't know that it's really possible, you guys. Uh, da, 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 da. We're going to get rid of those apples right there. And there's some white flowers right there. And what did I come over here for? Ah, the sickle. You know what we should do? We should just make a scythe. Let's just make a scythe. Uh, do we have any sticks on us? Uh, no, but I can make a stick real quick. Let's do the sti the sickle instead. I think that's going to pay off uh, better in the long run here. I also changed out our benches for some nicer looking benches. We'll do the same thing with the uh, loom up there and stuff like that. Tools, and let's make a scythe. Let's craft that guy. Beautiful. And then we'll go ahead and put this stuff away. We don't need this. Other thing I want to make today, and we're going to check on to see how big it is, is the drawbridge. It takes 128 lumber. Literally took me 10 minutes to go out and cut down a dozen or more trees. With this new axe, with the it's just it's it's just a beautiful thing when it comes to the birch trees. It takes them right down. And we have the iron already, so we're good to go there. I was curious to just how big the drawbridge is. I don't recall how wide it is uh, when you go to place it. And by the way, when you place the drawbridge, you cannot pick the drawbridge back up. I can turn it though, which is nice. If I well, it, let me it don't, let's me do this with the drawbridge and turn the drawbridge. Why won't it let me turn the blocks as well? I wish it would let me turn these guys as well because you can see the drawbridge. It's not stuck to this grid. I can turn it, uh, just like so. The thing is, is once you place the drawbridge, you can't take the drawbridge back. And I don't know that just because I place the drawbridge does that mean that I'm going to be able to build a block next to it. Now, some folks have said in the past that if I were to take a... Let's get this out of here. Uh, let's go to the saw bench. And we want uh, construction, a wood beam. Let's just craft that one. That's fine. If I took one of these guys right here, where did he go? There he is right there. I gotta remember how to do this now. Uh, shift arrow up, okay, and fat. there we go. Shift and right arrow key. And if I lay that down. Oh, we want it, we want it as big as we can go. If I shrink this down, this block I can take and put anywhere I want to because it is uh it's 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 a beam. Same thing goes with the planks and stuff. So if I were to take this, where's our where's our sickle? Let's let's get let's be able to see. Let's be able to see this here real quick. This this guy here is is really awesome. He's gonna just clear out a nice area for us right here. Sure would like to keep that fern if I could. Well, that takes care of that. <laughs> we're, we're not gonna get that back. There we go. You don't get grass seedlings with this guy. You won't get them, okay? Just so you know that, when you use this guy, he doesn't, I don't believe he does. No, he does not put grass in your inventory. 
All right, so if we put this guy right here, and we decide, you know what, I want you to, I want you to be this direction right here, and I want you to go straight across from here to there, and I put that down. I don't think if I take the block on number six, number seven, number five, yeah, see, he's not going to attach to that and then snap into the correct direction. It doesn't work that way. I am stuck with this grid, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's not that big a deal. It's okay. I can handle this. We can we can work something out. Uh, I don't believe I get this back. Yeah, now it's gone. Gone is gone. Planks and beams, you just lose them. So let's see here. And, and I want a different block too. I've decided that what the block I want, this is the block bench. You need this bench in order to do your block work. Uh, we want the, uh, what's the sandstone stuff look like? Ah, no, we want cobblestone. And I want it to go with, stop spinning. I wanted to go with this guy right here is the base of our bridge. Let's go ahead and mark that as a favorite right there. And let's craft, if I max it out, 64. Okay, let's go to our inventory, 64 of them right there. Okay, beautiful. This guy I like, and then we're going to use the other block next to it as the border. So if I start our bridge, let's go right here. Like so. This is how our bridge is going to have to go now, because this is where the this is where the grid is. So when we come off the bridge, we're going to have this here. But I think I could fill this in a little bit and make this not quite such a huge divot, and probably add a little bit of land to our our area here by just taking some stone and simply filling in that area. Let's get the drawbridge back on the hot bar. We'll put him right here, and let's see what he looks like. And we're going to actually go like this. Nope, we're going to go like this. Uh, inventory. I guess I got to place a couple more of these guys, maybe. I'm going to lose another fern here. That's okay. Let's do that. We're going to plant trees along this anyway. So we're going to do that right there. And now the drawbridge. So, okay, that's going to be good right there. Sort of in between there like that. So from one block in on each side is what the drawbridge drawbridge's width is. Okay. So that is, that's the width of our bridge right there. That is the width of our bridge, plus whatever trim work we do on the side of it as well. So how far is that? If you hold down left click, you can measure this. It's nine. And then if you just let it go, you can let it go like that. Now, if you hold it down and right click, you can lay another row. And you can build really quick with the game. You certainly can build very fast with this. Um, let's take it out a little ways and see how we're doing here. See what we're going to look like. I was a little bummed that I'm not going to get out over the water, but I'm okay. I'm okay with this. This is this is good. I did want the bridge to be free spanning in this canyon, though. I don't want to lose that. So we're going to go like that right there. And another thing to keep in mind, you see how the grass is right here? It used to be that if we were to do this... If we're back here and we don't cut the grass down, the grass will show through those blocks. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore. If you didn't cut the grass down, it would bleed through the blocks. So it looks to me like it's doing okay there. And uh, let's get this out of here. We better move this now before we, before we can't do it later. There we go. And like so. A little bit of building with you today. Wanted to get something started here. We gotta get, we gotta get going here. All right, and something else we're definitely going to need is scaffolding. Let's go down here, scaffolding, and we're gonna need, oh, let's go one, two, three, four, five of those. I'm out of lumber, huh? Really? That takes care of the lumber, huh? Okay. 
Do I have any more logs? I think I have a few more logs. I've also made a couple of uh, barrels to put stuff in because we were just so full of... Uh, we didn't have any space. Crafting lumber, max it out. Not a whole lot of lumber, but we're I think we'll be okay for a little while here. And then we've got these wonderful scaffoldings with the ramps. Oh, look at this. Different, different directions. What's the point of that? You just spin it around. Anyways, whatever. I'm, I'm sure there's a good reason for it, and I just don't know what it is. So let's see here. If we take this and turn it, We could be uh, kind of cutesy with it. We can put it out like that, and it's going to let us go ahead and do that. And then if we come over here and actually get... Well, we could do another one right here. Let's do that. There we go. Oh. We're probably going to have... Uh, we're probably going to have to have these going most of the way across just so we can actually work on this. Come on now. Really? It's not going to let me do that? There it goes. Maybe I was in the way. Could be. Oh, it wasn't close enough. There we go. Let's grab this other one back. It's going to be a big time saver for you. Otherwise, if you're trying to pillar up and down on the blocks, it takes a while to break these blocks. So you're better off doing this and getting your scaffolding put in because it's going to be a big help. And now we can come along here and just build to our heart's content. And what you can do is just keep going back and grabbing those and pulling them out. So don't make too many of them. Filling this in is going to be easy, but we're going to have to get a little, kind of a little bit decorative on the inside of it, too. And then we have to decide how far we're going to go before we put the drawbridge in. Like so. There's six, that's 64 blocks right there. Whoosh. So let's go ahead and do... I'm afraid it's going to make so many that I don't need. Is what I'm worried about it doing. Oh, I keep falling off. Uh, sorry about that. I'm sure the blur is nuts. There we go. Beautiful. So now I can take this guy right here. And I can take this guy right here. Yeah, this stuff is going to be very helpful to you when you get up and down off of roofs and stuff like that. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. Uh, let's get that out of there before I accidentally place it. Again, you cannot pick up the drawbridge once you lay it down. Unless they change that, you can't do that. Looks like you've got to be right up on this stuff in order to get it to actually sit. There is no, obviously, structural integrity to the game. <laughs> you can build whatever you want how you want. Oh, there you go. Come on, let me have that. I don't want to cut that tree down. Oh, does not want to do that. All right, let's uh, let's continue this out. We're going to get kind of a rough shell all the way across and see what it looks like. I might have to cut that tree down. I'd rather not, but you never know. There we go. Do that right there. I can't left-click drag this over now. There's nothing. It's got to be sitting on something in order to do the drag motion. Are we out over the middle of this yet, you think? We've probably gone too far, huh? I wanted to be kind of in the middle of this, the water. So the drawbridge is up. There's just water down below it. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what I want to do here. We can get some of these blocks back. With your hammer, you can get the blocks back. 
Okay, so I've got to cut that tree down. That is really a bummer. But what we can do is we can move and place it someplace else and uh, plant it. These guys are going to go right there anyway, so we could do that. And I guess we'll get a little bit of wood for the tree anyway, so that's, that's okay. But we'll move him over just a little bit, and then he can grow back up again. <laughs> Four chops is so nice. Get a sapling. Oh no, did we not get a sapling? It does not look like we got a sapling for the tree. That's too bad. Okay, well that's okay. We'll get another we'll get we we'll get a mulberry sapling. We've got a bunch of them all over the place over here nearby us. So we'll just get another one. No worries. Oh, it looks like our, all of our birch that I planted, too, have come up. That's nice. Okay, so I've got a ton of wood here, too, that I can work with. All right, awesome. All right, now that that's gone, we should be able to get our scaffolding put in. Oops. A little bit of a hop there. This is for anybody who's new to the game, wants to know how to do some of this stuff. This is really uh, the, the best way to go about doing it. There's something in the water right out there. I don't know what it is. It's almost like a tree or something out there. Okay, our scaffolding is in our inventory. Is it the birch that's in the way? As well? Jeez, man. Can a guy catch a break on this? This is crazy. Looks like the birch tree is in the way. Go chop that one down. I guess it makes sense to have to move this stuff, huh? Ooh, drink the water while we're here, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very nice. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing fantastic today. This is my Wednesday. Uh, nice, nice, smooth. Well, no, it wasn't a smooth day at work. <laughs> it was not a smooth day at work. I don't even want to get into it. Well, it's just those moments. It's like, ah, oh, man. There we go. Let's do that. So this is quite relaxing for me today. All right. Looks like that birch tree was in the way. I just learned something new. I thought this stuff could be placed on right about, about through anything, you know? I really did. But that's not the case. Let's go all the way across to this, and then we'll decide where we want the drawbridge. We can remove the blocks we don't need after that. We'll figure out where it's going to sit, and then we'll put it down, and we should be good to go, and then we can move forward from there. I'll just grab more scaffolding here. Oh, we could get this out a little further here, too. Tell you what, why don't I meet you on the other side? We'll get this whole, we'll get these two little rows all taken care of, and then we got to fill the whole thing in. It's a massive bridge, but it should look really nice when it's done. Should look really nice with big arches and stuff reaching down to the waters, water down there mm -hmm, with a drawbridge over the top. Let's not walk off of the back of this. There we go. All right, I'll be right back. Welcome back. Almost have gone through 10 stacks of stone here. <laughs> it's quite a bit of stone. I decided we go about this far before we meet with the drawbridge. This is going to put us right over kind of this point right here. Uh, let me see if I can get them on the other side. Uh, God, now I'll go. It's hard to decide for me which which where I want the drawbridge to go. I mean, we've got this inlet that comes in right here, and this inlet that comes in right here. So I feel like the happy medium between these two. If the river was coming all the way through here, and this land was not here, like say high water and stuff, this would definitely be underwater. Uh, the the drawbridge would be in this area right here. Is is kind of what I'm thinking. So let's let's go ahead and place it and see what happens. Oh boy. <laughs> Um, where is it? There it is, right there. So if I do this, like so, you can see where the drawbridge is, right there. See that it wants the, the it wants to have that wood right in the center there. Now there, the side pieces will break out. We won't have those there. Um, you know what I need to do before I do this though is I need to take these guys right here. 
Oh. And I need to go... What was it, right about here? We'll just do this right here. Let's cut. Oh, I can't even come in one more. That's okay. We could take these guys. Uh, let's let's see if the drawbridge, what the drawbridge looks like right here, right now. Okay, so now I've got those guys right there, but I could probably use one more one more of those blocks right here, like this guy, these guys right here. These guys could be the ones that go on the edge and down the side and stuff like that. So of course, this is nothing much to look at. It's just a flat. It's just a flat chunk, but we're going to go ahead and change that up, of course, down the road. we got to start somewhere, so we might as well get our platform installed. Uh, one, two, three. Let's go like this. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and get... Uh, let's max this out a couple of times. And then we're back at the stone bricks. We're going to mark this as our favorite it's this guy right here yeah favorite okay so we're gonna max that out as well we got a few of those going now too for us we don't need the axe in our inventory and but we do need some of these guys in here so let's do that right there so now yeah you can see where our bridge is gonna be dun 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 it's huge it's massive but it should be fun to put together and it's gonna take a few episodes to do it but what the heck we'll have some fun doing it like that. Let's do that right there and that right there. So just to give us a reference point for the drawbridge. The legs of this thing. Okay, it's going to disappear right there. So we want that wood to be right on the edge. We're taking a look at the legs and the drawbridge, the wood itself. And... We want those to be kind of even as best we can do. That looks to me pretty good. Kind of a smidge inside the block on both sides with the wheel. Um, let's go all the way over this way a little bit again. And then let's go just slide it over a little bit here. A little bit more. A little bit more. I think we're a little too far to the left that time. And... Let's set it in stone. I'm fairly certain we cannot pick this guy back up again. Let's take a look and let's check our handiwork here. Just about the entire block showing. Just about the entire block showing. I think that's looking pretty good. Let's get our hammer back so we can grab those guys back. Gotta be fast with the F key. Grab that block back. There we go, for just like that. And then we should be able to come over here, hit that. Nice. I love that drawbridge. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to measure where the drawbridge ends. And we're going to want this to sit on a block at the end here. So we're going to come underneath here just like this. And that's going to be where the drawbridge is going to sit on this little platform right here. Can I, can I lift the drawbridge from here? No, you've got to be over there. So, okay. So I guess when you leave, the drawbridge is down. You can't get it back down once you leave. Get a few of these in. There we go. Just a little bit of it. As far as you want to go, you can go with these blocks. I do little chunks. There we go, like that. And then these guys right here... And then the next step, well, missed one. Missed another one. Like that. Oh, the hammer is so hard to kind of try to speed click with it. 
better off just letting it do its thing. Ah, oh, missed it. Beautiful. And then I'm going to look at some pictures of bridges just to get some inspiration on how I want this to look underneath. I built a bridge recently on Millieville Engineers that I really like. And I'm thinking about uh, kind of mimicking it here. Where it'll arch from here over to the edge with some nice sturdy legs on it. I don't know. We'll see. And then we got to build a structure to house the drawbridge because you can see it, they give us kind of the, the basic framework of it. But now we've got to come back and, and do our own deco work around it and add some, some torch inlets for lighting down here and all that good stuff. And maybe what we will do is we will do sort of a... Um, I've got those blocks in my hot bar. We will do something of this nature right here where we'll be, you know, um, coming in like this. And then we can always do something like this right here because that's right in the middle of a block, right? Yeah, it sure is. It's right in the middle there. That's beautiful. That's absolutely perfect. So we can put, even put a block right there too and cover that up if we wanted to like that. And so all we've got is the wheel showing. We could do that, which is pretty awesome. But I kind of like all that stuff showing, so we'll see what we do with that when, when the time comes. Oh, nice. That's just fantastic. Let's go see how that looks from down below. It's not going to look very fancy or anything like that right now because we, we haven't done anything to it. That is a mighty bridge, though. Holy cow, that's going to be a big one. <laughs> that is going to be a big, big bridge. But fun to build. And then you guys said instead of maybe a castle keep, kind of a more like a large manor, our... our our um our manor so i don't know we'll, we'll 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 get there when we get there right i mean we're we're working towards it but i figure if we get the bridge in first this way we've got a a nice route in and out of our property right and then we probably should get some kind of a storage building put together and i feel like the storage house is going to go kind of down in this area here i'm not sure yet uh you guys want to see some docking off the back of the build uh, where the mine entrance is. I agree with that. I think we'll put something down below there and we'll be able to uh, access it from above and get down to it nice and easy from above with staircases and stuff. And then we'll be able to enter the mine and so on and so forth from there. It should work out pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah this is good. And then once we get this, this platform laid out, then we're going to have to come back with some wood and different design blocks and stuff like that to just kind of spruce it up and make it look really sharp you know what i mean it's gonna look really sharp yeah i'm not going down for those blocks it's just uh it's it's not worth going down for a few blocks that i dropped we can get those we can make more of those no big deal what is that in the water over there you guys want to do that with me real quick before i say goodbye i want to go see what's in this water over here i keep seeing it it looks like a tree but i'm not sure oh it's a mountain of some sort it's like a rock face Oh, that's what's over here. I see. There's a spire down here. Oh, what is that? It's like a big old cave hole right there, huh? There's water dungeons too, you guys, so don't forget that. But it, there's no help in keeping you alive underwater. I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in some trouble here in just a second if I don't get up out of this water. Ooh. A little too deep. <laughs> A little too deep for me. You can definitely see what the field of uh, the distance of view is here. How it changes. It kind of. I hope it helps a little bit with the videos. I hope it does. Me running back and forth doesn't seem to help too much. But uh, you know, you're in a hurry. You're trying to get things done and be in, be timely about it. Sometimes you just you run. And the grass is so tall and there's just so much going on. It's always moving and stuff that it just does that. So hopefully you guys can tolerate that. But I can tell you right now, when I'm in here playing, I don't have that going on. 
So there it is, the bridge to somewhere. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, I'll get the rest of this filled in. I've got the stone for it, but that's just a lot of fill work. We've got our drawbridge installed, which is nice. We'll be able to walk back and forth here without having to go down into this, this ravine, this uh, canyon here and back up again. We'll be able to access everything nice and easy. If you think about where this comes out too, oh, look at that. <laughs> that's a bear. That is a bear. Yep, yeah, there's a bear. Uh, this actually exits in a nice area where we could build some houses out here too, some farmhouses and stuff if we get that get to that point and decide to do something like that. We could put a few of those out here with some of our gardening and everything going on. Originally, I was hoping the bridge would land over here, but, you know, you, you got to work with what you can work with. And before I even talked about that, I should have remembered I better figure out which direction the blocks are going to let me go, and that would be a better idea. So, anyways, uh, that's what we got to go with. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.